Johnny, it's the year of the Olympics. There's an Olympics this year. The Olympics, Johnny? Yeah, there's going to be Olympics soon enough. But, but it makes me wonder, Johnny, how long are we going to have countries? Yeah, independent countries. <laughs> countries? Are we just going to be bunches of people from here, there and everywhere? What do you mean by that? Well, it just makes me think, Johnny, if you go over to England, say, if you go over to England now, if you went over as a tourist, uh, as, uh, say you and me, on some sort of a bloody business trip for the Ask Johnny channel, oh, Johnny, we're talking about the Olympics here, we're not talking about a holiday. But if you went to, say, Stonehenge, Johnny, oh, it'd be great to go to Stonehenge. We'd go out there under the bloody plains out there, the Salisbury Plains or whatever they are, and we'd go to the bloody centre. There's bound to be some bloody entrance and a bloody centre there and all that sort of shit. And you went to the counter and you'd expect some Midland lass there with uh, curly hair and freckles and... It's, yeah, that's what we'd be expecting, I reckon. And if you went to the counter and there behind the counter was some Indian bloke, God bless him. A holiday in Europe, it'd be great. Yeah, some Indian bloke, he's doing it. And the person beside him is some young Chinese girl. God bless her too. But I think he'd be a bit bloody disappointed. Well, I suppose it would be a bit of a... We'd be going to England to see the charm of the old country. Uh, Catch up with some bloody ancestors. We got ancestors in Ireland, Johnny. Uh, The viewers might be bloody amazed to find out. I mean, people are going to England. Well, we would be going to England. See all the bloody stuff we've read about, you know, Charles Dickens. Yeah, all that walk the streets of bloody London, yeah. Now, it's not just the UK that's in the grip of a migrant crisis. They're having similar problems over in Ireland. Many of you may be wondering, why is it that the Nordic countries, which have traditionally been so open and so tolerant of the arrival of migrants, are now radically changing their tune? More in- What's happening in Canada and how, is the, how did this come to be? Net overseas migration hit a record 681,000 people in 2023. Record 2.5 million migrants have crossed the U.S. border since 2023. U.S. officials are seeing another sharp increase in migrant crossings at the southern border. Thousands of migrants have joined a caravan in Central America that's making its way to the U.S. I mean, I reckon, Johnny, that's the reason you go to these bloody countries to see the culture of the country as you imagined. Perhaps it's just a fucking stupid imagination. Well, yeah. And in the same token, Johnny, I wouldn't want to go to India, for instance. I'd want to go to India and see the grand old India where the bloody British came in and bloody... I'd want to go over to India and I wouldn't like to go to, say, an Indian bazaar and as I walk down the uh, the street to all these uh, these Indian stuff, here's fucking Chinese people running the bloody joint. Well, suppose it would be a bit of a disappointment now you mention it so in fact wherever you may go these days johnny you mightn't be able to find the bloody traditional bloody stuff that you thought was there in the first place scotland oh can you imagine up there in scotland blow everyone getting around in kilts oh my god